This tutorial is brought to you by the Department of Performing Arts Technology at the University of Michigan. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to receive network messages in Max MSP. In particular, OSC messages created from the custom layout that we created in a previous tutorial. So I'm going to go to my doc, launch Max MSP, and go to the File menu and choose New Patcher. This pops up. I'm going to go to the lower left here and choose New Object. And I need an object. And I'm going to type in OSC in all caps. Now you'll notice that three things come up. All three of these objects are what's called Max Externals. And these three are free and you can download them from opensoundcontrol.org. And once you download them, they come with their help files. You can install them. A lot of really useful things. Once you install them, type OSC in all caps and you'll see these three options. Now I'm going to choose route because that's the one that I want you to use for this uh, particular example. So I'm just going to hit return. Move it up here. Now like Max MSP's built-in route object, the OSC route object requires arguments to work properly. So I'm going to hit the space and I need to tell it what controls it's going to be receiving information from. Now the first one was the push button and if you remember I left the name at push1. Now this is almost correct. I have to add something to the beginning of this name which is a slash one slash. If you remember in the previous tutorial where we created the custom layout I showed you how to make multiple pages within your touch OSC layout. So slash one slash is OSC's internal way of identifying that this is on page one and it's a control called push one. So if this were on page two, I would need a slash two slash and so forth. So I'm going to add that. I'm going to go to the end and type a space and a slash one slash fader one because that's what I left the name of the fader as. Space and one more argument slash one slash rotary one because that's the name that I left for the rotary control that I created. Now when I hit return you'll notice that this object adds several outputs and each one of these outputs are going to act as the outlets for one of these specific arguments. So in this case the third outlet from the left will send all arguments or messages that come through labeled as slash one slash rotary one. Okay. So let's make sure that all of our controls are working. I'm going to go down to the plus sign and I'm going to start with an LED. I'm using an LED just because when I push the button I just want to see it light up. Real simple. And I'm going to connect that to the first output for push 1. I'm going to go back down to the plus sign. This time I'm going to add a slider and the slider is going to be connected to the second outlet which is for our fader. One more time to the plus sign and I'm going to create a dial. Make that a little bit larger. This dial is going to receive information from the rotary control here in outlet 3 that we created in our custom layout. There. We're almost done. Now, in order to receive any type of network messages, we need to add one more object to our patch. So I'm going to go back to the plus sign one more time, and I'm going to choose an object, and I'm going to name this object UDP. And when I start typing that, you'll notice you have two options. You can send or you can receive. So these two objects just send or receive messages to and from Max MSP over your network. So I'm going to hit return, move that up here, and we're almost there. I'm going to connect that object to my route object, and I need to add one argument to my UDP receive object. So how does OSC work? How does Max MSP know where to receive these messages from? it's possible that you could have several devices sending very similar or the same named messages at one time. So I'm going to choose a port number that's unique to the device that I'm using, which is my iPad. Now my iPad is set for port 8000. 
The number can be anything you want it to be, as long as it's unique to the device that you want to receive messages from. So I'm going to hit return. I'm going to lock my patcher by clicking the lock button. And now when I touch the push control, there we go. I see something happening. When I activate the fader that I made in my custom layout, it's working fine. When I reach over and play with the rotary, you'll notice it's working as well. So receiving messages from your custom layout or from any layout is really that simple. You just need to create the layout. You need to know what the names of your controllers are, which you set up. And then you need to download this external object from opensoundcontrol.org and assign the appropriate arguments to it so that you can route your messages wherever you want them to go.